peeks behind the Christmas tree to find. Who does she find? I don't know. <gasps> George, says Papa, giggling. You couldn't wait. Everyone laughs. Hee hee hee. The end. Is that good? Yeah. The size of these Thai avocados. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Got a big head. <laughs> so it is five to seven on a Wednesday night. We've got fish tacos, got summer's it. favorite. So we thought it would be a good opportunity to do a little vlog on our nightly routine with a newborn and a toddler. And we'll take you along for the ride tonight with Ocean and his night wakings and um, how we go about that. Yeah, now, now that everybody's left us um, after Christmas and Jess's sister has left us as well, we're kind of on our own again now, so we're back into more of a, a structured routine, so we thought we'd uh, show you how that looks. So yeah, we're currently having dinner, it's just before seven. We normally have dinner a little bit earlier than this, but we're running a little bit late today because um, you want to get down. We had a little accident with the gate, so I had to fix the gate after coming home from work, Jess. Actually. I reversed the car into the gate. Could have been a lot worse. But I had Summer in the back screaming, <laughs> this one's screaming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it happened. So we're running a little bit late. Um, normally we're, we're wrapping up, by now wrapping up dinner and washing. I want uh, to do Okay. Is that all you're going to have? Yeah. Yeah? Or you're going to eat some more? That's the second one, actually, isn't it? So she's been a little bit under the weather as well, so we could end up having her in the bed with us tonight. Who knows? That's We've had her in the bed twice uh, this week. She had a little bit of a fever. So she woke up, she was in the bed with us. Um, Not ideal when you've got a baby. Disrupting our sleep. So yeah, we'll take you through the night, take you through our bedtime routine, and then uh, we'll take you through how the night goes with Ocean as well, so you can see how he's sleeping, how he's feeding, and how we fare with that. Yeah. Yeah, and this little one buying for our attention as well. Enjoy. <laughs> no, mummy's chair. Mummy's chair. just uh, calms him down for the night as well so that his uh, central nervous system is calmed down ready for bed. He usually likes to do a poo in the bath as well so I think that helps him uh, helps relax everything really <laughs> but he loves it and it's so cute. Okay, put it out. Hey, should we put your jammies on? Should we put your jammies on? Yeah. Good girl. So this is typically how the house looks at the end of the day. We've got a lot of cleaning up to do, haven't we, Summer? You can help Daddy with cleaning up? Yeah. Come on then, let's put your toys away. No, well done, baby. Good job. Well done, no. That was a big one. Good girl. Hmm, we've got two pieces left. Where do you think they go? Have you got the body to it? Yeah. Yeah, put his body on. Okay. 
Let it go. And scrub. Oh, very good. Very good. Are they all clean? Yeah. <laughs> good job. You're gonna say good night to mum? Give Ocean a kiss. Give him a little kiss, softly. Oh, good girl. Night, night. Good night. Sweet dreams. I love you. I love you. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so I've just popped him down. And while Rob is downstairs, putting Summer to bed, I watch on the monitor and I have my chocolate. Um, we haven't got a baby monitor for him yet, so I like to keep him up here with us for the moment until we go to bed. Otherwise, I just don't want to risk him crying down there and waking Summer up. Keep him up here. And then when we're ready to go to bed, we take him downstairs, we spoddle him and I give him a dream feed because usually he's uh, still asleep by that point. And then, yeah, we go to bed, normally around 9.30. But before then, we just, depending on how long it takes Rob to put someone to bed, he'll come back up and we'll just chill out for a bit. Maybe watch something. Scratch that. He just woke up for a feed, so eating my chocolate while he's on me. It's 9.30, both kids are asleep. <laughs> They've been asleep for a while. And now we're just gonna get ready for bed, brush teeth, clean the face, do the night routine for us. And then we'll hop back into bed, I'll probably give Ocean another feed. And then get some shut eye ourselves. I am so tired. Let's see how the night goes, fingers crossed. Normally, like the past week he's been waking up at about two, three o'clock, so I'm hoping that he has a longer stretch of sleep tonight, but we'll see. Okay. We've given him the last feed, a dream feed. As you can tell, it's fast asleep. And now I'll put him down. And hopefully, fingers crossed, he's down until four. Good morning. So it's next day. Both kids are still sleeping, which is amazing. I've just come upstairs to make myself a nice cup of coffee and enjoy some me time before the chaos begins. Last night was amazing. We obviously have our good and bad nights, um, but yeah, last night was good. He only woke up at the quarter to three feed, which is amazing. And he was stirring at about 6 a.m. this morning. So I gave him a quick top up of milk and he went straight back to sleep. So praying that he gets a little bit more sleep before the day starts. So one of the big, big differences between summer as a baby and ocean is their bedtime routine. Um, so I think with ocean, um, we give a bath every night, pretty much every night before bed. So he kind of associates that with sleep. Whereas summer, we didn't really do that with her. We kind of just did it like whenever we could during the day. So I think that is a um, 
big reason why they why he sleeps so well also calms him down soothes his stomach and also the massage after the bath i think is definitely a winner so if you've got the time to give him a bath and calm them down and give them a nice massage. It soothes their stomach and digestion and sets them up for a good night's sleep, I reckon. Um, also, one of the other major things that I think helps with ocean sleep is a swaddle or a sleep suit. Uh, we didn't really do that with Summer. We swaddled her at the start a bit, but we just thought she didn't like it and then we stopped. But with Ocean, we have swaddled him from day dot and he just, as soon as you put him in the swaddle, he just sees out to it. So I think that is a big reason why he sleeps so well because of um, he's not doing that startle reflex where they startle themselves. We have the Made to Dream is the brand, Made to Dream Sleep Swaddle. It's the transitional one. So their arms are up like this and they can kind of uh, use their hands to self-soothe self themselves. Um, but yeah, that, this one's good for um, when they need to have their arms out, when they're starting to roll over. So we've, we've chosen that one to make it easier for the transition of arms out. But honestly, if I could give a piece of advice on what to purchase as a new mum, is definitely a good sleep swallow. They aren't cheap, but you get your money's worth and they are so worth it for your sleep and theirs. So it's so worth it. Also... I think another thing that really helped this time was a night light. Last time I was using my torch on my phone or I'd have to put the light on and it was too bright and it was waking summer up. Whereas with Ocean, I've got this amazing night light. It's a kind of a um, all-in-one white noise machine as well. But it's perfect because it doesn't wake him up and it's light enough for me to see what's going on, but it doesn't wake him up in the meantime. Also another thing is um, nappy changes. So if I do do a nappy change, I do it before I feed him so that it w if it wakes him up, then it's okay because I'm going to put him on the boob and that kind of generally makes him fall asleep. Um, but if I do it after a feed, then he will, he'll wake up again and I'll need to feed him again. So it um, it's always before I do the feed. I know it sounds a bit bad, but I don't change it unless it's like a really full nappy. Ocean is one of those babies that is not phased by a wet nappy. So I generally don't change it unless it's absolutely necessary, unless he's done a poo or it's a really full nappy. If it's just a little one, then I just leave it because it's not worth waking him up and disrupting his sleep for that. Um, when he woke up with a quarter to three feed, I checked his nappy and it was fine. And then I gave him a feed and got a burp out and then I put him straight back in. And that probably takes about half an hour sometimes because he has a really big feed and that gives the a nice stretch of sleep all the way to the to the morning so if you had any tips and tricks on getting your newborn or baby to sleep through the night or if you did anything different with yours let us know in the comments box below we would love to hear them so as always if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we will see you guys in the next vlog